Developing tonight, deputies are investigating a tense situation between a Pasco County High School student and a school resource officer. Stop hurting me! Did you stole my phone? No, that's your phone right there. Why'd you throw it? Now shut your mouth Why'd and relax. Why'd you throw it? That's just a small part of an almost nine minutes of body camera footage released today by the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. They say it shows what led up to the confrontation at Sun Lake High School in Landa Lakes. And even before the video, many of you were taking the side of the school resource officer in this case. We know that because tons of you commented on our 10 News Facebook page, and many of you agree with what Rick says. If the student was disorderly and refused to do what the officer orders her to do, then the student is wrong. Has nothing to do with words, has to do with actions. Others say it's hard to tell the whole story from cell phone video posted to social media. Chris, Sheriff Chris Nako says that he stands by the deputy's actions. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you the rest of the new video so you can judge for yourself. Well, one, come on out here and talk to me for a second. Well, about what? I can talk to you right here. Body cam video from Pasco Deputy Richard Stacken, a 24-year veteran of the force, several of those as the school resource officer at Sun Lake High School in Lando Lakes. Stand Don't touch me. Stand up. Do not touch me. Stand up. Don't touch Everybody me. Everybody out. On Tuesday, Stacken's body camera was rolling as he confronted Mackenzie Hanna, a student who was allegedly skipping class. At several points, you can hear Hanna taunting the deputy, using foul language. But when she raises her hands in his direction. Oh, no, you want to touch me. I'm not going to hurt you. That is when Deputy Stacken body slams Hannah to the ground. She wouldn't comply. She was actually making scenes. She was raising her voice. She was doing what she wanted to do, and she was not listening to anybody in authority there. They were so nice at first, like just asking her to leave and get out, but like she would not listen. Several students who were watching it all unfold recorded the same incident from oh, different okay. angles. Hannah took to social media saying SRO Stacken overreacted, leaving her with a concussion. Her classmates saw it both ways. She stood up and I'm not sure why she flailed her hands up, but I guess he took it as she was a threat and might hit him. So he did his thing and like went to like grab her and move her. I think he should have just uh, taken her out, you know, a little bit like just like not maybe slammed her, but like just rest her, you know, turned her around because he could have definitely done that without slamming her. Don't give me. Now give me your hand. In the video, Deputy Stacking can be heard using foul language himself, clearly frustrated with Hannah, but also referring to other incidents. Is this what I gotta do every day now? That have left him agitated. I'm more concerned about her actions than anything else. After the Parkland massacre, the state of Florida actually mandated more SROs make their way into Florida's classrooms. At the time, critics raised the concern that those officers might treat students more like criminals than kids. When I put my hands on you, it's for a reason. But Sheriff Nako insists that was not the case here. Well, Deputy Stacken, he says, did what he was trained That's to do and sees no reason Sit not up. to place him back on the job at Sun Lake High School soon. In Lando Lakes, Eric Lasser, 10 News. Sheriff Nako says his deputies tried to speak with the student's parents, but they didn't want to be interviewed. Hannah faces charges, but the deputy involved has recommended she enter a diversion program to avoid any permanent marks on her record.